Hello and welcome to Krishi Jagran Business platform that keeps you updated with all the agri news of the nation. This is Khushi Mudgal. Let's take a quick look at the top headlines of the day. President of India Shrimati Draupadi Murmu inaugurates Festival of Libraries 2023 at Pragati Maidan New Delhi. CNH Country Manager and Managing Director Narendra Mittal visits KJ Chopar. First of its kind Agriculture Science Museum opens in Bengaluru by UAS on August 3, 2023. Kharif paddy sowing shows 3.38% increase overall but four states lag in coverage. Maharashtra's legalization of agricultural land leasing marks a milestone in agricultural reform. Now the news in detail. The Ministry of Culture organized a unique festival of libraries 2023 organized on the 5th and 6th of August 2023 at Pragati Maidan New Delhi. The two-day festival was inaugurated by the President of India Shrimati Draupadi Murmu while the valedictory ceremony will be graced by the Vice President of India Shri Jagdeep Dhankar. The event highlighted iconic libraries from around the world sparking discussions on the modernization and digitization of libraries in India. This festival was a part of the second phase of the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav and aligned with the Prime Minister's vision to promote the development and digitization of libraries and foster a culture of reading in India. The team of Krishi Jagran was thrilled to attend the event and witness the honorable president of India Shrimati Draupadi Murmu inaugurating this literary extravaganza at Pragati Maidan. Take a look. Hamara swadhinata sangram ke mahanayako ne tamam sangharsho aur sankato ke bavajood पुस्तकों के पठन पाठन और लेखन पर जोर दिया था गांधी जी ने जन रिन की पुस्तक अन टू दिस लास्ट को पढ़ने के बाद उनके जीवन में हुई रचनात्मक परिवर्तन का उल्लेख किया गांधी जी ने उस पुस्तक को ग्रंथ रत्न कहा तथा तो सर्वोदय के नाम से उनका अनुवाद भी किया इस बदलाव का दक्षिण अफ्रीका तथा तो भारत के इतिहास पर ही नहीं बल्कि विश्व इतिहास पर गहरा प्रभाव पड़ा उनके द्वारा मातृभूमि भारत की संस्कृति को जीवंत रखने में पुस्तकों की अहम भूमिका रही है Its primary goal was to facilitate the formulation of action-oriented policies for the development of modern libraries across the country, even at the village and community levels. Furthermore, the festival marked the launch of a special ranking system for libraries in India, aimed at further promoting excellence and innovation within the library sector. CNH Industrial India's country manager and managing director Narendra Mittal and Madhu Kandhari, corporate communication and employee motivation, visited Krishi Jagran's head office in Delhi on Friday, August 4, 2023. He has been heading the SAARC Agriculture Business. Mr. Mittal manages and oversees the company's operations in the markets. He joined the company in November 2016 as an executive director of India Manufacturing Operations and has served in various positions understanding their core competencies to further utilize them for the company's benefit. Founder and editor in chief Mr. MC Dominic welcomed the guests. After interacting with the staff members of Krishi Jagran Narendra Mittal, CNH Industrial India's country manager and managing director mentioned that they had started making harvesting equipment for sugarcane in Pune. Take a look. Now we are the ones who are who have brought the big builders and the round builders to India. The tractors which we are selling here in India, 150 and 160 tractors imported from Brazil, and this is where we feel once we localize those tractors here for bigger farms, especially uh, for the crop residue management, this is going to be a big big game changer because this is what is required and this will be produced in India as well. This is our plan, long term plan to do this in India. So huge plan. And with the support of this level of community, I think every day we need to grow, and we have a way forward. And with your support, with your support, I think we can progress quite rapidly. The event concluded with a group photograph session with all the esteemed guests and the team of Krishi Jagran. The University of Agricultural Sciences in Bengaluru inaugurated a groundbreaking museum on August 3, 2023, aiming to educate students and the public on the evolution of agricultural practices. With a focus on bridging the gap caused by urbanization, the museum will showcase live models, the history of agriculture, soil science, crop cycles, and information on crop infections. The project completed after a decade of work and costing 1.5 crore 
will enable visitors to interact with scientists and explore various aspects of agriculture. Alongside the museum, UAS will also open a skill development center offering free accommodation and multiple courses related to agriculture for farmers and agricultural workers. According to the latest data released on Friday, the total area sown to paddy during the current Kharif season has seen a 3.38% increase, reaching 283 lakh hectares. However, four states, namely Karnataka, Assam, Andhra Pradesh and Orissa are experiencing a lag in paddy coverage. The Meteorological Department reported an overall monsoon increase of 4% from June 1st to August 2nd, but the East and Northeast regions faced a 24% deficit. During the week ending August 2nd, the country experienced a 4% deficit in monsoon rainfall, with Northwest India and East Northeast India alone witnessing a 19% deficit. The data also revealed that paddy coverage in Orissa, Assam, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka was lower as compared to the year ago period. On the other hand, coarse cereals and oil seeds coverage showed slight improvement while sugarcane acreage increased and cotton and jute mesta areas saw a marginal decline. In a significant move towards agricultural reform, the Maharashtra government has officially legalized the leasing of agricultural land. This decision comes as a response to the issue of fragmented land holdings and low productivity in Indian agriculture. The new policy allows larger players to lease land and enables small farmers to collaborate in joint leasing arrangements. However, there is a need to address the prohibitive costs related to registration and stamp duty. Known for its progressive approach to agriculture, Maharashtra has emerged as a front-runner in implementing this new law legalizing land leasing. That's all for today. We will be back with some more news updates tomorrow. Registrations for the MFOI Awards 2023 organized by Krushi Jagran have started. Please check out the description box to register. For more updates on Agri News, stay tuned to Krushi Jagran Business. This is Khushi Mudrit.